Well, hey, good peeps, we are back for another segment of Can Quincy Qualify? I am Quincy, and I'm going to qualify this time. So excited because I don't have to be in any nasty crawl space anymore. However, I do have a foundation issue that I must take care of, and because my wife doesn't trust me, she wanted me to call our good friends here at AMC 911 Foundation and Repair just to ensure that I know what I'm doing. We're here with both Mariel and Brian. You guys are a married couple. That's why you can be this close together <laughs> during social distancing. How has that changed business-wise? Well, we've been practicing safe distances unless we're married. Yes. <laughs> uh, we notify our customers that we'll be coming by mm -hmm. and uh, we let them know that, hey, we don't need to see you. You just need to let us know in advance where are the problems you're having. We'll wave hello and we'll come in and do our inspection. If we do need to come into the home, we wear gloves, we wear a mask, and we keep our distance. And then later on, we email them their proposal of what needs to happen. Now, Brian, quick question. Like, what makes this business different from your competitors? Well, one of the big differences is every job has uh, load calculations and engineering review. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for me, as being a former mason, I was in the field laying brick for 20 years. Okay. So I'm really interested in the details. And when I'm training new folks, rather, it's on the inspection side, a new inspector I'm training for the field, mm -hmm. or a new technician, I'm doing hands-on with them before I release them to be able to do an inspection for your home. Now, let's get to the root of why I'm really here, okay? So, my mother-in-law lives on a slab, and she told me the other day that uh, she's noticed some cracks in her living room wall, and I said, look, I, I know that you have foundation problems. It's probably still settling, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but I can fix it. Uh, you know, oh, I'm yeah. pretty experienced with some of this stuff in anyway. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm here to pick out the stuff that I need so I can save a little money for her, but y'all are my friends to help me out. So uh, as a matter of fact, I can do it myself. Oh yeah. So y'all okay. just sit right here and uh, just keep loving each other. You got such a great All foundation. Right. All right, thank you. All right. All right, what do we have here? Wow, now this looks exactly like my mother-in-law's foundation. It's got the little crack in it. All right, so this could be the reason why she, wow. And I can see it move. So it goes down, this shows the crack, and then eventually I put these little thills in there. And <laughs> did y'all, anybody see that other than me? It lifted up. Hey, did you see that? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> the guy has no idea what he's talking about. I'm assuming those poles get propped up under there, and then you gotta, what does that do? Look at that. That's, that's how much it takes to pump up the house and get it level again. This is a piece of cake. This, I do this with one hand. No one's looking. Ah, I'll be done in three hours. Oh, guys, I don't think he's got this. Compared to this one, this one looks more sturdy. I think I like how it curves and everything. It's like a parking garage. It just goes up and it spirals all the way around. So I want this. I don't know what this is, except for a lot of fun for some married couple. Oh, wrap your leg around it. Oh, what do we have here? A good old balance beam. No. I had aspirations to be in the Olympics. Let's see if I still got it. Ah. Oh my goodness, no way. All right, so, oh, you know what? She has been complaining about a mildew mold smell in the house. This must be for flowers that I can change what? the aroma and the smell in the house. Just put the flowers in here. Okay guys, so uh, here's the question that we all want to know. Did I qualify, at least? Well, Quincy, they say the most honest people in the world yeah. are kids. Gabriel Abigail, what do you think? Did he qualify? Sorry, no, he did not qualify. What do you have for me? Oh, you're gonna put it on my forehead? <laughs> are you kidding me? So is this a... A sad face, I didn't qualify. No, I'm sorry, not this time. You were close, but not this time. I got you, well that's why you are the professionals and we appreciate you all in the Hampton Roads area and what you do to keep our foundations nice, tight, and level, all right? Absolutely. So apparently I did not qualify this time, but I'm not giving up, I'm very confident. This smiley face hurts my heart right now. 